Good morning, everybody. I'm back in Maryland at my par parents' farm and laying my eyes on the B model for the first time in six months. And it's still got every bump and bruise that I remember it having. So for those of you who have not seen this thing on my channel before, this is a 1965 Mac B61. We got it out of Western Pennsylvania about, probably about two years ago now. It originally ran up in South Norwalk, Connecticut for Patsy Catron and Sons, as you can still see on the door. And it is one tough old truck. So it's a turbo thermodyne, five and four. And I mean, it's a Hoss truck. It's got an old heel bed on it, triple frame. This thing's pretty stout, but it sat for a long number of years. The guy we bought it from had gotten him running and driving, so it does run and drive, but it still needs so much work. We slowly have done a little bit to it, but not nearly as much as we'd like to. So today's plan is get it fired up, take her for a spin, and we want to be able to use this thing for some farm work, and the bed doesn't currently work. Uh, the cylinders are both bent, so we found some original cylinders for this bed, and we're going to go ahead and throw those on, hopefully, if it's not going to be too much of a fight today. I only got about a week to work on this thing, as well as do a bunch of other things around here, so we'll see what we can get done. But for now, let's get it fired up. So last time I was working on this thing, it was having a fuel system issue. For now, it's bypassed over to an old oil jug full of diesel fuel. Not ideal, but if it gets it moving, it gets it moving. So I already checked the oil, we're good there. Topped off fuel, let's see if it'll fire. There is an extremely specific smell that this truck has in it. I can't really explain. Not a bad smell, but not a great smell. Alright. Ah, I should have known. Yep, no chance. Alright, we gotta find something to jump it or something. Well, I think if anything's gonna jump start this thing, it's gonna be this giant old battery charger that came out of the back of a Chevy dealership. So we got it hooked up, set to boost. All right, gave the battery a few minutes. Let's see if she'll go now. Oh yeah. Woo, I love this old truck. Sounds good, sounds happy. myself today and driving this thing while filming is not the easiest. I needed two hands there to steer this thing. This thing's a bear to steer.
bullet center on them. Whew. That thing is a bear to drive and I forget it every time. Now I'm gonna blame it on it not running right, but it has been a year since I've driven this thing and it is something to get used to. I'm trying to get it shifted. Let's figure out why it's running like crap. Might not be picking up fuel out of that tank right now. Or out of that jug. Finally got it moved here, and this is all as high as the bed will go. You can't really tell now, but before when we had, had it up, you could tell the cylinders had a serious bend to it. I don't think that's our only issue, but we did get a good pair of straight cylinders, so we're going to start there. First, we're going to get it all chalked up and safe. I am not crawling underneath that thing like that. All right, so it's the next morning. Of course, it had a storm like crazy last night. So we have the beds up as high as it'll go. We got two big old oak chunks wedged under there. We have an old telephone pole there. And then we're gonna cut a piece of steel that's gonna go from there to there. And lastly, just to be safe, we're gonna pack, park either a track loader or a dozer back there and chain it off just because I don't want to mess around underneath this thing and get crushed. So, here are our cylinders. You can see that one's got a... Um, don't know if that's the cause of all of our woes with why it won't go up. I don't think it is, but it's definitely a good place to start. So we got to knock a pin out back here and then we have to undo, there's a clevis up there. Now on our cylinders that we had shipped to us from a guy up in Connecticut, I was able to get the clevis off. So hopefully we can do the same thing on the cylinder on the truck and then just slip the rod into that clevis and call it good. Yeah, these cylinders are a little leaky looking because they're covered in goop, but hopefully they're not bent. It was lucky finding them being there the exact same came from the exact same bed truck and everything so pretty good find so i get my dad making his way over with a 953 which is going to be our anchor so i'll get you guys all set up when we start pulling the cylinders all right all right we got a cat 953 in place that's hooked to a chain all the way up on the stump guard with tension on it. These logs are sitting with tension on it. We've got a piece of very heavy angle iron wedged in there and a telephone pole. So we should be ready to start working. Well, that was really loose. I think I just did. Yeah.
Yeah, I think that pin's still grabbing a little bit. Clevis popped off and our line swapped around. Now this one should be ready to go in.
All right, it's all reinstalled. As you can see, our rod is a slightly different diameter. The cylinder is actually slightly smaller. Down here, the pins are the same, which is great, but up there, it's not great. And that smaller diameter, we think that cylinder is going to move faster or slower. So I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but we're going to give it a try. Worst case, we get the bed back up and pull this one too. Wouldn't be that big of a deal. I don't know. So we're going to pop our temporary vent setup we had on here. Fill this tank with fresh hydraulic oil and see what happens, I guess. All right, so the last clip you saw yesterday was the bed going up, which is awesome. It does go up a significant higher amount higher than it did before. So we're going to consider that a success but before we can go play with this truck. And I got something special planned for it. We have to deal with a pretty significant leak it has over here on the cylinder we didn't touch. Uh, this fitting going in right here, which is just a pipe nipple pretty much, is leaking at the cylinder. So we got to undo this line and that big greasy nasty line down there and try and get hopefully a full 360 turn out of it so that those lines are in the same position and hopefully that keeps it from leaking. It's kind of annoying that it's not a swivel. If it was just a swivel, it'd be super simple, but it's not. So we got it all braced back up again. So we can safely remove that line and uh yeah but really happy that that cylinder seemed to have solved our issue and i didn't notice them running at different speeds or anything i think i would think the bigger one would just overpower that other one i don't know in the long term we'll probably replace this cylinder too but for now today let's just fix the leak all right we got the leak fixed i didn't bother recording it because i had a mess in my hands the whole time but we undid that line down there and then had to spin it out of the bottom of the fitting. Spin that one out, pulled the fitting out, cleaned it up, reinstalled it. Hopefully it doesn't leak now. We're waiting for the batteries to charge up and then we'll give her a test.
All right, so that's gonna wrap up the video today. Uh, pretty big day for the B model because it gets the dump again. I uh, would definitely call it a success, but not a slam dunk. The bed, I still feel like it can go a little bit higher. Now that might be me just being used to newer trucks and their newer cylinder designs, but I really feel like there's some more height in there left. We'll probably end up swapping out the other cylinder as well, just so they match. Um, but as of now it works and it dumps, which is awesome because as you can see here in this little preview of an upcoming video, we have a special project plan where we are gonna finally haul a load with this thing for the first time in a long time. And we're gonna do the whole little project with only 1960s era equipment. So definitely keep an eye out for that video. It's definitely gonna be a good one. Uh, please subscribe if you're not to see that in the near future. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Have a good one.